what does H3, Tiger Belly, and Brendan Schaub have in common with creep show art? Stay tuned to find out. Direction. I mean, can I ask that or no? Sure. That weird? No, you can ask me anything. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jem, and today we are going to reload the Tiger Belly podcast drama with another series. Now, before we begin, even though I know next to nothing about Bobby Lee and Kalila, I am well aware of where the lines are drawn. Everyone hates Kalila, everyone loves Bobby, and everyone else hates Brendan. Even so, I am a firm believer in that everyone tells on themselves sooner or later. All you have to do is give them enough room to talk uninterrupted. I used to jerk off dogs a lot. But this is like a known thing. When I was younger, I learned from an older cousin. Oh. <laughs> and that's what we are going to do today. Listen and analyze their story. Let's get into it. If you haven't heard the full story, Kalila went on her Trash Tuesday podcast at the beginning of the year and chose violence by claiming a comedian hit on her. Watch what happened. Yeah. I had a guy that was like, why don't you walk me to my truck, this married guy, where I'm like, <laughs> and we know him, I'm not going to say who it is, but um, he's like, I know him. why don't you give me a walk, why don't you give, like, you should walk me to my truck. I'm like, so what, I can blow you? Like, what? Wait, like, who was it? Oh, but it's just like, ew. it's like, why would I? Wait, like, I love that we have the same people that. Yes, that the same ones come from. Want us to walk for you? Bitch. Oh, he came for me so hard, and we know his chick. Mm. On New Year's Eve, while he was having dinner with his family, he was like, What are you doing tonight? This year? Maybe three years ago. He was like, What are you doing tonight? I was like, Left him on red. He but was he like, knows well, I hate that I'm with my yes. in laws right now. Do you want to go? He At did least that, to that me. is because I was thinking about like if we go to your truck, okay. Mm -hmm. Like let's say I was like in, which I was never in at all. <laughs> let's say I was in. It's like I love this. so. Wait, we walk to my car. I finished my spot, being very good at comedy. You not being good at comedy, and then <laughs> that's a so, clue. By the way, I don't want like to be seen with you. That's I don't. The biggest clue you could ever give. Those clues, a comedian and not funny, was enough for anyone in the know to piece together that it was Brendan Shrub who is married with young children. But that's enough backstory, let's continue. Flag, like if somebody is like, oh yeah, I'm the best, or yeah. speaks like mm. highly of themselves, I'm like, red flag. Not going, something's, not funny. Something's wrong here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are comics that do that. You name want to name? Yeah, name oh someone. God. Brendan Schwab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a beast. Wait, we can't talk about it? Yeah, we can't talk about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you... <coughs> no, I uh, would love to. Talk about what? Why don't you want to talk about Brendan Schwab? But I, you're down. No, no. It's very clear to me that Kalila wants to talk about the situation and Bobby does not. This plays a part further into the series, but I just wanted to point it out here. No, so, uh, Brendan Schaub? Well, here's what I'll say no, about No, Brendan Schwab. Schwab? Schwab. Oh, not Brendan Schwab. Yeah, Brendan Schwab. Schwab. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, talk about it, yeah. I call, I, call him a sh I call him a Schwab because he looks like a, uh, a Schwab. You know, like, is, don't they call those Schwabs in the air? Yeah. Uh, Schwab? Okay. Uh, you gently do it, but this is on you. This is on you. Okay. So Very clearly, Bobby is leaving Kalila out to dry. He wants no parts of it, even though he's allowing her to continue. So Brendan, Here's what this I say. is on you, and that's it. He's a comedian yeah. <laughs> that you have a podcast with uh, two other very funny ladies called uh, Trash, Trash Tuesday. Tuesday. Right, with Esther Pavitsky and Annie Lennon. Annie. Yeah. Great show. Thank you. Love all three of you guys. <laughs> My heart's beating because I want to be delicate about this. 100%. Okay, yes. You, you tread, tread lightly. I will tread lightly. So you guys were doing a show, and you said that someone you guys knew okay. was trying to pick... Hold on, you don't want to even say... Finish. This is just... Well, just correct me where I'm wrong. Well, we don't yeah. need to stress you guys out. <laughs> Here, Ila's offering them a lifeline because she knows her husband, Ethan, doesn't know the meaning of uncomfortable. So either they take her lifeline, or Ethan is just going to barrel through with his questions. <laughs> it's going to distress him because... <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ethan. <laughs> You okay, Bobby? <laughs> As you can see, 
Bobby begrudgingly lets it go on. <laughs> so you guys said yeah. this guy, Brendan Schwab, you alluded to it. You said his initials was BS. Everybody now knows it's him, right? Um, well, the first time that we had talked, you know, it was, um, it was a story about someone who had hit on me seven years ago. It was a story oh, about someone. We never said his name during the first show. <clears throat> you guys were together seven years ago? Yes, we've been together nine. <laughs> With no intention other than to just tell a story about Funny something story. that happened. Funny <coughs> story. Yeah. Interesting. Just to get a good laugh, something that I thought might so be seven relatable. Seven years ago, he tried to pick you up, this comedian. Um, yeah, comedian. I, I told the story on Trash Tuesday, which was like, yeah. He tried to, and the story was interesting. He brought you to the car and tried to get a blowy or something? No, that's not me. That, oh, that, that was, was one of the other girls. Annie, yeah. And, um... Seven years ago? Okay, because in the original clip, she says three years ago. On New Year's Eve, while he was having dinner with his family, he was like, what are you doing tonight? This year? Maybe three years ago. So I'm confused. According to Google, Brendan started dating his wife in 2014, which would be eight years ago. Kalila mentioned she just wanted to tell a funny, relatable story, but you all tell me. Those of you who are married or in a serious relationship and heard someone tell a story like that about your significant other. Does that sound like a funny story or a story that would automatically bring strife into your relationship? So Kalila, is Brendan a friend to you or an enemy? Because if he's an enemy, then I get it. It's no holds bar for someone you deem an enemy. But if you all have a working relationship slash friendship, what was the point of sharing that potential cheating story? I'm not saying Kalila didn't have a right to tell it. I'm just wondering why she told it. Because I think a lot of women can relate to having married men hit on them. And when that happened to you listening to me right now, did you immediately tell the wife or just tell the married man no and keep it moving? Because one thing I'm going to think long and hard about is destroying a marriage. That's just something I wouldn't choose to do on a whim, right? There would be intention behind it. Trash Tuesday is not a live podcast. Even if the women got a little ahead of themselves, they could have easily edited out, but they didn't. Why? That's the real question to me. Not what happened, but why did it happen? You all too focus on the what. I'm curious about the why. Because is that such an interesting way to pick up a girl, I think, to be like, yo, you want to come to my car and suck? <laughs> like, by the way, I should preface this by saying I had a phone call with him. All is squared away and fine. Okay. But he did promise. We promised that this would never be brought up again. But then he went on flagrant two. And talked about it, so I was like, all right, uh -huh. deal's off. I'm going to talk about it on H. Deal's off. Uh -huh. Yeah, so... Um, Kalila then said she and Brendan had a choose, and he broke the choose, so she's going to air him out. All right, have at it. But I'll be delicate about it, because I do think that, you know, um, yeah, I don't want to be an asshole to, to anybody. Yeah. Right. Um, but... <laughs> Are you friends with him? Is that the problem? Are you friends oh with, with Brendan? <laughs> Your acquaintances. Yeah, yeah. I'm friends with them. Did you catch that? Kalila says they are acquaintances, but Bobby off mic says, yeah, I'm friends with him. Now there's a big difference between an acquaintance and a friend. Kalila downplaying her relationship to Brendan leads me to believe that even before this incident, she didn't really like him. Was it because he hit on her? According to her, because he denies it. Is that the reason she doesn't like him? Or did something else happen? Do you think he's a funny comedian? Because a lot of people... I think he's great. Okay. I think he's wonderful. <laughs> I do. I think yeah, he's Yeah, he's a good guy. I really do. Dynamic. You know, I'll, can I just say something about him? All right? I want to say this. All right. Uh, I want to say that... He tried to get... He tried to fuck your girl, no, dude. No, I... 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 Woo! Okay. All right. So... I, short. I, is he short? Yeah. Wow, yeah. Um, I, li I like to say this about the man. All right? You know how difficult it is to go from one thing... Oh, my thing God. What? You don't have to, like... Do what? Right as day. what I'm yeah. doing? You can already tell Bobby is going to be very complimentary toward Brendan and Kalila doesn't want Bobby to be nice. To be clear, she does not like Brendan. Okay, so, um, you know, it's very difficult to go from one profession to another, right? So UFC. he was an MMA fighter, yeah. right? Mm. And really successful fighter, Very right? successful. Um, and he goes into a very difficult medium which is stand-up comedy it's yeah it's clicky it's very difficult it, it's right. very difficult 
and he carves his way out, and he, he does a couple of specials. He's a successful podcaster, and my hat's off to him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very. Okay, good. I mean, nice hats things. Off to him. All, yeah. all good vibes. Um, <laughs> we've, we've talked, and um, everything's under the rug, and everything's fine. And, um, yeah. The dust has settled. Bobby's being very diplomatic regarding the situation. Although I would like to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> now go kick up some more dust, Kalila. I want climate change all up and through that room. It, it, this is not. Well, you didn't you. finish your. Well, Bobby, Bobby has some nice things to say. So I right. mean, you're you're in the middle of your story. Well, my problem with the whole thing was um, when he had a problem with me, he went through Bobby. Bobby was a filter, and I thought that was really um, not appropriate. He wouldn't because... talk to you. No. Kalila, why would Brandon talk to you? The last time he did, you accused him of wanting to have an affair. Do you get it or do you really not get it? Furthermore, you said the whole topic was cleared up, yet you are bringing it up again on H3 because Bobby was included in the peace talks? That so offended you? Because at that point, Bobby was the mediator for two people who clearly did not like each other. I don't know what's so offensive about that. I, I, I want to protect Bobby in all of this. Ten and no, five? Oh, he protect, was ten and protect. five? That's not bad. It's, we're fucked. We're not fucked. <laughs> yeah, Wait, why are you fucked? Fucked? So, fucked? What did fucked. I say about him? We're fucked. Wait, is this, hold on. Really? Is that ten losses <laughs> or five? Yeah, You're yeah. so afraid of being bullied. Why are you so afraid? Because like, this is the problem. It, it all, and it, to his defense, when, this is good. when Shab had a problem with me never even saying his name. And by the way, I neither confirm or deny that that's, to this day, that that story was about him. Well, you guys mm -hmm. said his initials was BS. And then Annie said it was Bob Saget on the live show. Oh, well, and then no. Bob one Saget of, BS. No, one of the things that really gave it away yeah. is that you guys said that he's not very funny as a comedian. And yeah. then you guys all started laughing. So wait, we walked to my car. I finished my spot being very good at comedy. You not being good at comedy. And then, <laughs> That's a so, clue. By the way, I don't want like, to be seen with you. That's I don't... the biggest clue you could ever give. And you guys all started laughing. Uh, objective. I just I... No, but I know that's like, like a meme about him. I know you think he's funny. Yeah. But there's like a meme that everyone's like, He's the George Carlin of He's not funny. Films. Thank you, Ethan. I just like how Ethan says things. Kalila, stop acting aloof. If everyone was able to guess who you were talking about, please do not sit there and act coy. Hit dogs holler. Brandon yelled out because you aimed directly at him and fired. Don't disregard his feelings. He has every right to believe you did that on purpose, even if you didn't. Don't gaslight. Brandon is not mentally unwell. Stand that doesn't He's mean not funny. that they necessarily said <laughs> right. that it's him. He likes being a friend, so I'm not mad at anyone who defends their friend. He like clearly believes her friend would not purposely expose a married man for goofs and gaffes. Because who would do such a thing? I mean, if you're going to call out a married man, stand in it, right? Stand in it. Don't play it off like if it was some funny, insignificant antidote. So I'm not mad that Kalila said it with her whole chest. I'm looking at her sideways because she's trying to brush it away like it's not a big deal. Who does that? Because if I were to out a married man publicly, guess what? I'm going to be prepared for the smoke that follows. <laughs> so I actually, to this day, I... I you never I said, said his I, name. I never said yeah. it was assumed. I didn't think that it would escalate in the way that it did. You've got to be kidding me okay okay for those of you who don't know if you out any man in a relationship as a cheater it will escalate i refuse to believe she's unaware kalila is the fact that you made it so blatantly obvious that you were talking about brendan now do i believe him oh please i believe kalila but again, his reaction is expected, especially without any evidence. So really, what was the point of that story, especially since nothing did actually happen? You turned him down. It's not even a scandal. Hmm. Maybe Kalila just wanted to brag. Keep that in mind.
I also didn't realize that Bobby would take the brunt of the punishment um, because nothing, you know. He didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Right. And here's the here's my problem with just even this in general, okay? And since it's, we're already talking about it, fuck it, right? But what I'm saying to you is is that I have nothing to do with any of it. I don't even know what the fuck the thing is about, really. You don't like being put in the right? middle of it. Not, not was I not put in the middle of it. I was being... Um, Screamed at oh. and bullied. It was like a oh, cool. get your bitch in line phone. Yeah. Oh my oh. god. It was worse than that. It was way worse than that. Bobby is saying right now that Brendan completely and totally disrespecting Kalila was not nearly as bad as Brendan bullying him. Have you all been watching and observing Bobby since the beginning? He was absolving himself of everything that happened. Like, this has got nothing to do with me. You figure it out. Keep an eye on Bobby's reaction moving forward. And my point is, is that I'm sorry, that's just now my yeah. fear is the, the results of whatever this is now going to be. There's right. no results because there I, is. There is a result. No, there you isn't. Know, see the conflict here? You see it? Those two are not on the same page. Bobby's putting blame solely on Kalila. He wants no parts of it. Now, yes, it had nothing to do with him, her telling the story on the podcast. But it's how he so much not having her back at all is what gets me. I am. I, I can call Shab right now yeah. and we could be like all is squared away and everything is fine because we've already talked about it. The promise was that he would never talk about it again. And the next day he went on flagrant two and then talked about it, even though it was in a complimentary way. Yeah, in a complimentary it, way. I, I, I don't feel like we've that... said anything bad about him either. And Kalila, I understand that if you and Brendan decided to call a truce and he broke it, you'll feel justified in speaking as well. But if Brendan was complimentary towards you, why bring it back up again? What's with the Trash Tuesday beef? When are we going to settle the Trash Tuesday beef? It, it's settled. As far as Kalila goes, you know, me and her had a long conversation on the phone. Right. We are good, man. Yeah. No one's suing anybody. I, when it comes to Kalila, you know, I and I didn't have her number, Bobby. I go, Look, give me, send me your girl's number. So I called her and we just had a conversation, you know, for, for over an hour. Me and her are good, man. I, dude, when you talk about the secret sauce, Kalila is the secret sauce of Tiger Belly, mm. of the Trash Tuesday. She's, great, yeah. She's such a smart fucking girl. Did you really expect Brandon to never bring up your name again ever in life, even when asked about you on a podcast? Because if that's the case, you needed him to sign an NDA. Because there ain't no way you can tell someone to never talk about you again and think that that will actually ever happen. Kalila's out here thinking she can take away someone's First Amendment right. The point is, did, was, there, um, was there a text alluding to possibly suing people? Yes, there was. Did it, did it freak me out and did it make me think, oh shit, like such a small thing to sue over, but was there a lot of misunderstanding from his team and us? Yeah, and, but we talked it through, but the truth is the truth. And you know, it's all squared away. If you're speaking the truth and Brendan threatened to sue you over it, I mean, he has the right to sue you. There's frivolous lawsuits all the time, and I would expect him to be posturing on account of his wife. So, you guys, I'm just going to get this clear. So you guys were talking about there was this comedian that people assumed was him. Yeah. That was trying to pick up all you girls, kind of a sleaze, whatever, right? Yeah. So he calls you and says, Bobby... Get your, get your woman in line? I mean, what kind of fucking animal does that? That's fucked up. Why did he call you? It, he has your number, right, I would it, assume. It, it was your podcast. Contact you. Ethan and Ella think the problem in this story was how Brandon spoke about Kalila. The misogyny of it all. They're not getting that Brandon doesn't care about that aspect. <laughs> Bobby would have rather Brandon call <laughs> Kalila directly and told her off and left them out of it. <laughs> What aren't Ela and Ethan getting? Their outrage is not shared by Bobby. Yeah. It's your fucking podcast. Who the fuck? Why? What the fuck is that shit? It was not just him. It there was, was a him. whole barrage. It was, it was. A Don't phone, say the name. I'm not going to. But okay. it was a phone call with other podcasters. 
It was this guy. It was this guy right here, Brian Callen, a comedian, because he admitted to saying horrible stuff about Bobby and he apologized to Bobby. So it was this guy right here. We'll talk about him more later in other videos. And it was that's um, some bullshit. They was, flogged you, bro. Not flogged me. They threatened my career. They called me a coward, a pussy. You've always been a pussy. I'm Bobby, this is you. And I'm a coward. <laughs> False. <laughs> oh, I really am. I I literally am weak, and I'm a I'm a follower. Bobby, you say that you're weak and you're a coward. All they did was confirm it. Stop calling yourself weak. Here's what I have to say. These male comedians that work blue, you know the ones that say nothing is off limits and they joke about the wildest things in their sets? Yeah, those guys. Words like coward and the other word Bobby just used is nothing to them. Nothing. Actually, those words are rather tame, so I don't understand why Bobby is clutching his pearls right now as if those words are so egregious. Bobby, I bet if you called the Pope those names, he'd shrug it off. Sorry, what? that's unacceptable. No, no, yeah, and and, and um, Black man. they said they would expose me. They said that that's all these things. And I was in Oklahoma shooting another, a show. And I was at dinner. And I was by myself. And I was getting this. It was very traumatic for me. And it was based on whatever they did on the live. Now imagine now what's going to happen with now this. It's good you said that. I think it's good that you're saying that because fuck uh, them. You, you should stand up for yourself. Yeah. But I That's see so these guys up. every time, every all, all the but, time. But you know to be I mean? clear, but they did it. They took it there. This behavior is you, unacceptable. But totally. to be clear, that's that's up. when that happened, he called me like shell shocked and crying. At which point I said, "Give me his crying. number." Come on, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. You were crying to Mama Kalila, and she had to go take care of it for you. Poor Bobby. Yeah. That's hey, Bobby, you're, oh, you're the he, best man. The, the man that has feelings. Like, what the, no, what the fuck true. are we also, talking about? When he's like being spoken to. You think to? she wants somebody Say that, that again that for the, for the people anything? in back. Say that again for the people Go in back. Ahead. We love men that can cry. Since when? Since when? <laughs> Bottom. So to be clear, that was the <laughs> the height of the chaos was when that happened. At which point I I'm, said, "I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah. That's so yeah. fucked up." Well, man. to both of you, also not yeah. having like the balls to talk to you. He has the balls to go and fight people, but like, why does he gotta right. go? Did talk you even to know what was going on when he go called? Go talk no, to I, your man. Like I'll tell you why, Ela. I watch these types of comedians before in another show that I know, Ela, you are familiar with. And I don't know about Brendan and Bobby specifically, but I know their type. In the comedy world, the men go out and do a lot of gigs in different states. If they have wives or girlfriends, a lot of the times they are not on the road with them. Because of this, there are some comedians who take advantage of their time alone by sleeping with groupies and other comedians. There is an unspoken rule where you are not supposed to talk publicly about what goes on on the road. They all cover up for each other. I'm not saying that all road comedians are cheating, but even the ones who aren't are covering for the ones who are. So if anyone breaks the rule and exposes what's going on on the road, all the comedians come down on them because nobody wants their skeletons to be exposed by a chatty patty. So yeah, Brandon called up Bobby and was like, what the heck is your girl doing? You got stuff on me? What about the stuff I got on you? Am I saying... This is right? No. What are you guys talking about? He didn't know what it was happening. I don't, num number one, I don't, they were, okay, first of all, they were like, we have evidence of something, right? <laughs> so they said, right, they go, we have 50 pages of. No, they said 300 pages. Three, whatever, of, of evidence. Dude, Brandon uh -huh. Schwab can't even read, bro. How the fuck that guy bringing 300 pages of anything? <laughs> that guy's barely literate. Are you kidding me? Well, uh, Yo, Ethan stays on ready. This is where I think that there's a, there's a disconnect between... 
good. There's the disconnect between the information <coughs> he's being fed by his team. I don't think it's all him. Like, he's just like, I have 300 pages of, of proof that, um, of an IP address that let's link to oh, Bobby's, please. listen to this, Ethan, what link to Bobby's liar. computer. I was like, do you realize Bruh. how tech stupid Bobby Thank is? You. He answers <laughs> phone calls on his iPad. <laughs> do you know what I mean? My man. <laughs> Saying that, and basically that we've had, we've launched an attack on him for the past five, six years. And, and I, I told Brendan, I was like, Brendan, with all due respect, like you're not an afterthought for us. Like, why would we as a company just dedicate five, six years to this <laughs> harassment on Reddit? Oh no. Red alert, red alert. This has now taken a turn for the worse. Did you all just hear that? <sighs> Brendan said he had evidence of Bobby and Kalila spreading Russian-style disinformation on the interwebs, and this is Kalila's response? How much time do I have? Oh, I have to dig into this. Kalila, what kind of response is that? Okay, you know what? Okay. Let me let her go on before I say my piece. When my sweet lover... Oh, because a lot of people hate Brendan. There's like a whole, like, movement. So, yeah, he's trying to... He blames that on you guys? A, a let, yes, and mm. so at, now we're at a point where it's like, well... He says that he has proof that me, mm. for the last five or six years, that I've been on Reddit, you know what I mean? Okay, in the, I listen, gotta I, say... I, I, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go, 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 I've been <laughs> spending my time... First of all, number one, I don't own a computer. I don't even know how to buy one, really. You know what I mean? He really does. <laughs> right, right. Number two, right? I don't know how to get on Reddit. I've asked her, how do you get on it? What is it? You know what right, I mean? Right, right. I'm just not tech, tech savvy in that way. I, you know, it's shameful to say, but I... <sighs> Bobby, you didn't give me the answer that I needed either. What is going on here? I'm seeing red flags all over. It's you know, not shameful. You're an old. You're what? Are you like 50, 60? <laughs> He's fifty. Yeah. yeah. So he was going. You're doing this. We can trace the URL back to your house, and you're the leader of this <laughs> Reddit group. I'm like, bro. First of all, if you look at from what I hear, if you look at Reddit, there are pages about me as well, <laughs> and me. And they're destroying me, me, so I don't read it. Can I tell you something? Yeah. yeah. As someone who's been in technology my whole life. Yeah. People who don't know fucking anything about technology say that shit. Yeah. But I think it's, it's impossible to get that. Right. He doesn't have it. When it's anybody says they it. have I think proof Ethan, against you. But Ethan, bullshit. I think that I, again, I'll defend him in this scenario by saying I think his team is giving him a lot of wrong information. Well, whatever. And that's ultimately what yeah. him and I, uh, like, um, we're able to find common ground. It's like, look, I think I'm receiving wrong information. And I'm like, I can, I can understand that. I can forgive He's that. Ethan believes Kalila and Bobby, they're his friends, he has no relationship with Brendan, so Ethan is going to obviously take his friend's side and give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to scare you. Dan, is it- oh, Dan is our tech wizard. He's walking with a bag of chips, Dan, for Christ's sake. What's up? <laughs> is it possible to get uh, IP logs from Reddit that proves that Bobby is posting shit about- You all, Ethan is trying to give Bobby a win by asking this question. But Ethan is also asking the question, which I like. Listen again to the question and be sure, be sure to listen to the response. <laughs> is it possible to get uh, IP logs from Reddit that proves that Bobby is posting shit about Brendan? Not Shor without like working at Reddit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> or having like a federal subpoena. <laughs> Y'all, if you don't know what just happened, I don't know what to tell you. The question was, is it possible to get logs from Reddit? What was the answer? The answer was yes. Yes, it is possible. So tell me, if it's possible, why are we acting like Brendan has lost it, like he's unwell and needs a nap? I don't like mob mentality, witch hunts, groupthink, and the like. I rather the masses say they like Bobby better than Brendan than the masses saying Brendan is absolutely lying about the evidence because it's impossible. It isn't impossible for Brendan to have that info. 
Dan's answer was, it is possible if Brendan has an in with Reddit. Remember when this happened on H3 many moons ago? Basically, TikTok keeps erasing my content, like immediately. Like they clearly, like in the first 10 minutes, it goes down. Three of my last four TikToks were removed. Removed for hate speech, you know, against myself. So somebody wrote in and said, yo, I work on a, the TikTok moderation team. I want to call in anonymously and, you know, give you some intel. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Are you scared to be calling in? Are you afraid that they're going to suss you out? I mean, just like a little bit, because, um, you know, when you do uh, work for TikTok, you do have to sign an NDA. So, so what is your job in TikTok? So I am a content moderator. So um, literally all, all day I'm just watching TikTok. And also, is there, is it, it seems like to me like someone like James Charles, who's a fan or someone, he has a fan there who's just watching my account like a hawk that could just fucking bot me whenever I post a video. That's like, even you know, I, I don't doubt it. I'm, I mean, I generally don't doubt it, but that would be somebody even higher up that would, that could possibly do that. Who's, you know, actually looking at your accounts. Um, I'm a big fan. I've been watching H3 for years and I'm a member and I love Thank the podcast. Thank you. Wow. We love and you. I, we got yeah. a man inside. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys, the crew, what you guys do. You guys make honestly everything so much entertaining and you guys hear that all the time. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Right. Just keep an eye on my you. account, okay? And keep an eye <laughs> on James Charles, too. You you report every single one of his for, enda <laughs> for endangering <laughs> you, a minor. You got it. Trust me. For endangering a minor, stand, which please. it is. All right. Take care. You're going to be <laughs> okay. You. And please believe this person was a low level employee at TikTok. Wasn't really able to give Ethan that much leverage, but I'm just showing how easy it can be for anyone that has any sort of celebrity influence money. If they have an in at a company, they can get things done. And let's not forget what happened to creep show art. If you haven't heard the story, here it is. Creepshow Art is a T channel who just two weeks ago had 500,000 subscribers, and now she's at 384,000 subscribers and quickly dropping due to some controversy she got into recently. A few weeks ago, Creepshow was exposed by the admins of the Lolcow forums, a forum where people can discuss and gossip about influencers. The admins of the Lolcow forum alleged that Creepshow had been posing as her own fans and haters for approximately three years. They identified about 300 posts made by Creepshow from 2018 to 2021. In these posts, Creepshow insulted her friends, used various insults against people she doesn't like, and even allegedly posted her own sister's social media in order for her to get harassed. Creepshow responded to this on a YouTube community post, saying that her stalker, who she had a long history with, had been posing as her, spoofing her IP address for the past three years, and had made all of these posts on the lolcow forums. However, it soon came out that you can't even spoof IPs in the way she's suggesting, and the admins of the lolcow forums didn't even use her IP to identify her, but the cookies of her browser. I'll leave a link in my description box if you want to see how the story with Creepshow art ended. No one is ever truly, truly anonymous on the internet, okay? Whether you tell somebody in secret what you did on the internet or a company can expose you on the internet, it can happen. But wait, it doesn't just end there because Ethan also said it's possible to see logs on the internet with a subpoena. Please keep that in mind because it will play a big part later on in the series. Mm. Yeah, I don't no, even, I didn't know what a, he was no. saying. I actually think we should. I, I could call him right now and get clarification. No, no, do not call him right yeah. now. That's Wait, we're okay. Him do. and I are okay now. I, don't, I doubt not, it. I'm going to say this. <laughs> no. After this, no. You will not be okay. <laughs> I agree with. Bobby is making a clear distinction by saying, You, Kalila, will not be okay. Kalila started this battle on her own, and Bobby is making sure she doesn't use him as reinforcement. That. I promise you this, and this is this has opened. No, 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 I'm not fine. I'm fine. Or I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. But I'm just saying <laughs> that this has like opened up a world home. I'm not a pussy, right? Well, according to Brian, <laughs> never mind. I'm just saying the thing is, is that you guys don't do stand up, right? No. Right. So I'm always around them. Yeah. Right. I always have. So I'm trying to play it politically. Right. I feel like I was assaulted for something that I didn't do at all. I don't know, even know what the Wait, fuck they're talking about. 
Okay, let's get into it. Bobby finally said, I did not do it at all. That's what I was looking for earlier. A firm denial, but mm -mm, still can't give it to him. All right, everybody. Have you all heard of statement analysis? It's a technique for examining a person's words to figure out if what they say is true. It's not a science, and there is a lot of criticism of the technique, but when I first learned about it, I found it very intriguing. To make a long story short, the theory is that growing up, everyone has learned that it's wrong to tell a lie. Therefore, we spend years and years and years trying our best to do or say anything to avoid outright lying. And because of this, if you listen to how people answer direct questions, you can detect whether they are being truthful or deceptive. I'm going to give you an example. If someone were to say to me, hey, Jem, did you rob that bank? According to this theory, if I were innocent, I would answer, no, I did not rob that bank. Now, if I were guilty, watch how this scenario plays out. Hey, Jem, did you rob that bank? I can't believe you would ask me that question. I don't even own a car. How would I even get away? How can I rob a bank? I don't even have a bank card. I don't even know how to use an ATM. So how would I even rob it? You know what I mean? Okay, something like that. Now listen again to what Bobby said when Brendan accused him of using Reddit to anonymously harass him. Well, he says that he has proof that me, for the last five or six years, that I've been on Reddit. You mean? Okay. In the, I listen, gotta say. I was, go ahead. Go ahead. Fuck, fuck, I'm gonna say. Go, 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 go. Let me finish. Everybody <laughs> breathe. On, I've been spending my time. First of all, number one, I don't own a computer. I don't even know how to buy one, really. You know what I mean? He really does. <laughs> right. Number two, right? I don't know how to get on Reddit. I've asked her, how do you get on it? What is it? You know what I right, mean? Right, right. I'm just not tech, tech savvy in that way. I, you know, it's shameful to say, but I... Listen again to what Carlyla said when Brendan accused her about using Reddit to anonymously harass him. He's just like, I have 300 pages of, of proof that, um, of an IP address that let's link to oh, Bobby's, please. listen to this, Ethan, what link to Bobby's liar. computer. I was like, do you realize Bruh. how tech stupid Bobby Thank is? You. He answers <laughs> phone calls on his iPad. Do ah, you know what I mean? My man. Saying that, and basically that we've had, we've launched an attack on him for the past five, six years. And, and I, I told Brendan, I was like, Brendan, with all due respect, like you're not an afterthought for us. Like, why would we as a company just dedicate five, six years to this <laughs> harassment on Reddit. Did you hear any firm denials? As in, no, I did not use Reddit to anonymously harass you, Brendan. Okay, because that would be a firm denial. Or did you hear a bunch of reasons of why it couldn't possibly be true? Because just sitting here, I can come up with a scenario on how this can be true. And that they did do it. How about this? Brendan slighted Kalila or Bobby in some kind of way. And Bobby was mad about it. So Kalila started posting crap about Brendan on the subreddit to get back at him. Now I'm not saying this is true. But it's a scenario that could have made Brendan's suspicions be true. Scenarios are scenarios. Somebody else go up, we make a scenario for that. Somebody else go up for that, we make a scenario for that. Scenarios. Keep this in mind as we continue. I really have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. And yet I was mm -hmm. being, you know what I mean? Um, they put it all tapped, on you. Right? Because they're using you to try to control what, right. what Kalila's doing. Right, right. So, um, you, know, I, you know, I went to therapy and uh, about it. You know what I mean? Really? Talk about it yesterday yeah. because it's like, it was just so traumatic. And these were my friends and I had no idea what the fuck they were talking about, right? They are not your friends. I think I'm going to have to do a video about what is a friend because I don't understand how so many people cannot understand the concept. Oh. And so my whole thing was, let's never talk about it again, ever, right? And let's just brush it on the war rug so that I can go to comedy clubs and look them in the eye and be cordial, right? But now, right, this is a whole nother fucking thing that mm. I got to deal with now. Yeah, I you know see. Don't be sad, Ela. Bobby's milking it right now. He'll be all right.
Okay. I see your point. Yeah. It just sucks because they're bullies. They are. Yeah, it sounds like you they're trying to bully you and it sucks that you're in this position now yeah. where you have to it's like a boy it sounds like some bullshit boys club. That's exactly what it is, Ethan. Ethan does not participate in the boys club and good on him, but Bobby does. So Bobby, you were all right with the boys club until they picked you to bully. Now it's a problem? What did I tell you all about these go along to get along people? They are fine when somebody else is bullied. They will either participate or remain silent. But when it happens to them, it's a catastrophe. Bobby, wipe away those tears and go back on the stage and make people laugh. Because if you hang around bullies and call them friends, don't be mad when they bully you. That's what bullies do. Where it's like, she, like, let's be honest, dude. A lot of these fucking guys have accusations against them. And it's a fucking boys club and they're all protecting each other. And I'm not saying that one did one, one did no one. We're talking about. Okay, fine. You see how Bobby just left Ethan out to dry. The same way he left Kalila out to dry. Beware of people like Bobby who have no loyalty to anyone. Ethan, Bobby is trying to get back into the boys club. He doesn't want to be saved. Bobby likes the status quo. It's fun for him. There was just a bit of a bump on the road that he's trying to smooth over by throwing his partner under the bus. But all in all, he's good, Ethan. I'm not saying anyone did anything specifically, yeah, yeah. but it's like, hey, your girl's out of line. You know, you got to protect the boys. And it's fucked up. It's bowling bullshit, dude. It was ever so slight, but Bobby was shaking his head no to what Ethan was saying. He was not agreeing with Ethan. Yeah, and, to, and on flagrant to Andrew Schultz's podcast, he was like, I contacted Kalila. And I'm like, no, I asked Bobby for your new number, and I no, reached out to you. No, he wanted to talk to you, so... Oh, okay. Let, the, uh, all ways. right, so let's, that's a two-way street. All right, let's be real, all right? When it comes to Kalila, you know, I, and I didn't have her number, Bobby, I go, Let, give me, send me your girl's number. So I called her, and we just had a conversation, you know, for, for over an hour. And I'm like, no, I asked Bobby for your new number. And I no, reached he out wanted to you. He wanted to talk to you. So. so then what's wrong? What's the problem? Okay, if he came to you, what was the problem? Because you were saying the problem was he didn't come to you. The story changed because now Bobby is saying, yeah, Brandon did talk to Kalila. So what? It was the timing. He wanted to talk to you first, not second. <laughs> okay. He talked to you. That's the point. He, he did talk to you. He but I don't like the narrative that he was he came to me with with mm -hmm. this because it took months or like two months before he even wanted to come directly yeah. to the source. And I would have been if he saw the first podcast on Trash Tuesday and said, hey, I really didn't like what you said. It right. have alluded mm -hmm. to me. That's not good for me. And then I would have said, I understand that. I didn't realize that you would be getting extra harassment from all right, of this. Right, I apologize. Right. I will right. not say it again. But you said it. You meant it. You're here to represent it. Anyone, man or woman, if you insinuate that a married person is cheating on their spouse, expect backlash. Just expect it. You have a big mouth, Kalila. How would Brendan know you wouldn't have taken that convo between the two of you and brought it out on the next Trash Tuesday podcast? As girl talk when you want it to be messy. Passive aggressive. You know that expression about pee and rain? Yeah, Kalila, that's what you're doing. Just be real about it. It's also not a cancelable offense to hit on a woman. It's not mm -hmm. a big deal. No. It was an anecdote. Yeah, mm -hmm. and totally. I, not Ethan sitting there right now acting like what she said wasn't a big deal. Remember, Ethan is a guy who made sure to shut down any joking Trisha was trying to do about him liking her on Frenemies. Whatever. As frequently as I'll I never was. convince you. Just like I'll never convince you that you don't think that I want to fuck you. I can't answer that because I was like, don't disrespect the marriage. You can say, speak honestly, I don't want to fuck you. But you don't believe that. I would rather, do you understand what I'm saying? You've seen these meat grinders where they put in steak and it comes out ground beef. I would rather put my dick in a meat grinder than fuck you. And crank it myself. Do you See, know what I'm saying? Now you're overcompensating. Just like you called me a two or a one. It's like, obviously I'm not a one. Like, you, you overcompensate by trying to play it cool. I would literally... Drag my dick <laughs> through a field of rust and glass. <laughs> if I can be so uh, frank with you.
And again, Ethan has every right to shut down Trisha because nobody would want allegations of cheating going on in their marriage. So if Brendan, who's playing the part of an innocent person, is going to make a big stink about it, I'm going to let him show out. I'm going to let him do some improv knowing he knows he's guilty. Because on Trash Tuesday podcast, you could have let your friend tell her story and left it alone, but you added your story and then you both left it in there. Yeah. I had a guy that was like, why don't you walk me to my truck, this married guy, where I'm like, <laughs> and we know him. I'm not going to say who it is, but um, he's like, I know him. why don't you give me a walk? Why don't you give like, you should walk me to my truck. I'm like, so what? I can blow you? Oh, like what? Wait, like, who was it? Oh, but it's just like, ew. it's like, why would I? Wait, like, I love that we have the same people that. Yes, that the same ones come from. Want us to walk for you? Their... Oh, he came for me so hard and we know his chick. Look, the first two comments with a bunch of likes of that podcast where they revealed this incident and a lot of other comments guess that it was Brendan you two were talking about. It could have been resolved right then and there. And I did tell him that when I spoke to him a week ago, I said, this was a very, very simple thing. So from here on out, moving forward, let's shake on it. If you have a problem with something I say, come to me directly. And he said the same thing. So we're good. We're good. I promise uh, you we're okay. I promise you we're not. No. I promise you're not. And I promise you there's a wave coming now. And, and that's it. I Unfortunately, I, I agree with Bobby just because I don't think they're going to be happy that it's out there that they're fucking bullying Bobby. It sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not all right. Fair. I mean, you know, it's out there, and that's why I wish you didn't do a live podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you see this shrug right here? You see this shrug? This shrug right here is going to come back to haunt Ethan. You just wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? I know it's, I think it's good for the audience to know that these guys are fucking pack of rats dude <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean they're a fucking they're a pack of rats bro these guys are your friends and they gang up on you bully you because because something that your girlfriend said because kalila said that nothing you do dude, the guys are fucking clowns though bro they're they're meatheads dude brendan schwab been punched in the head too many fucking times yeah sure bobby did you just meet ethan today did you just now realize that Ethan does not care and you can't muzzle him? Go ahead, yeah. I, but, yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I, I don't know if this, this is a time, the right time to like... I think it's a time think. to just put it all on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait, think wait, wait, ahead, babe. when I do talk to him, I, I feel like he is a guy who's like hurting a lot and he really loves his family. And, mm -hmm. you know, he feels very like he feels horrible when his kids are, you know, being talked about a certain way when his wife is being talked about a certain way. So I understand like his pain and his feeling like he's on his he heels like he has to defend who was talking about things. his family. I think that the 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 Reddit it, Reddit, oh, they're, yeah, dude, Reddit, yeah. Reddit is fu it's Reddit. That's and what Reddit I'm saying. Talks they're they're mean to every, yeah. uh, They'll fucking ruin you if you go and read what they're saying. I mean, they, uh, Reddit is a fucking vile place where they say horrible things about everybody. Yeah, and that's what I told them. It's like Shab, whatever you're getting, I get. Everybody people, gets it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody um, gets it. But I do think that he's somebody who you know, I, I I don't know. I have empathy for him. I, I really mean, that's do. horrible. Obviously, to go after people's family. That's mm -hmm. disgusting. Yeah. Long, awkward, pause. You know, the comedy culture for me, since I moved there in the late 90s, has always been bullying. Really? really? Yeah, there's always... Ethan and Ella, you have got to be kidding me right now. How is that so unbelievable? Stand-up comedy is very cutthroat. It's been like a... a set, yeah, I mean... What the hell? I never expected to hear that. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, serious. I really I'm, I'm yeah, surprised yeah. by that. Yeah. You yeah, laugh I, because it seems obvious to you? Yeah, to me that it seems it's obvious. Um, you know, it, huh. especially in certain clubs, it's always been a boys club. My relationship with certain people now have completely changed. It'll never go back the same. Because at the end of the day, like, I literally, I know what I've done and what I haven't done in my life, all right? I, ha I do, right? You know, right? You know, when people accuse me of certain things, there are some things like, yeah, I did that. You know what I mean? And there's a couple of things that I've done that one day I would like to talk about on, on podcasts that are like, 
that I've done to specific comics that are like not cool. You know what I mean? Um, and I know that I did those things, and I feel guilty and shame over it, right? But the things that they were saying last week, I, they, 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 came, they came from such left field, right? That like I was the mastermind, you know what I mean, behind this Reddit group that was after, you know what I mean, <laughs> Brendan Schaub. Why would I do that? Well, were you? Answer the question. Which reminds me, another thing that statement analysis would say is that when you ask a question, if there isn't a firm denial, don't give the person the benefit of the doubt that they gave you a firm denial. Because even now, Bobby is just repeating the allegations and how ludicrous it is, but he's not denying the allegations. That like, I was the mastermind, you know what I mean, behind this Reddit group that was after... <laughs> You know what I mean? Brendan Schaub, why would I do that? Bobby has not stated, I did not go on Reddit and make anonymous comments about Brendan Schaub, nor did Bobby say, I did not tell Kalila or anybody on my team to go on Reddit to harass Brendan Schaub. I, I legitimate, and this is... Even Honestly, as, if you saw Bobby type on a laptop, he, he's typewriter oh. fingers. He does this. Yeah, I do that, right? I have to, he it has takes, two fingers. Yeah, <laughs> I, but, that, but that should tell you something about their mentality, that they, they have this... They had this theory, working theory about you, even before this happened, that you're somehow trying to destroy him. Yeah. Like, I, did that, he, does he really... I also that? would uplift him and his crew and the people around him. Dare I say you've probably one, been one of the most supportive people like when he did first start doing stuff. Yeah, I, I, I have. I, I, he said that. I remember I saw a clip. He said that Bobby was really, that you were really and supportive I'm still of him. No one's been more supportive when I started than Bobby Lee, dude. Really? Besides Rogan and Cal and Delia, like nobody's been more supportive. He's still supportive of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I think that he's funny. I really legitimately do. The only one. I've told Bobby, it's like, I will work out whatever I need to work out for myself and set my own boundaries for myself. If that, That's the way know, it should be, but unfortunately, yeah. these guys... But um, I do feel bad for him because I think he gets, like I said, the brunt of it all. Um, but I'll probably call a shop after this and say, hey, this is what was said. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, I'm going to stick to the promise of going directly <laughs> to him if I have... Kalila, why don't you leave that man by the name of Brendan alone? You're being messy and now you want to call him again to make peace. Why? Tell me why. If y'all don't see what's going on here, we are not done here. To hear these people tell it, you think Brendan is completely off his rockers. But is he really? She's not going to do I'm just letting you know <laughs> that if you want somebody found, anyone on the internet, she's the one. Wait. You're a professional. I've seen you do shit that would boggle my. How the fuck did you find this person? No, I'm just. <laughs> what? Uh, I, well, you gave away my. I'm an undercover sleuth. I am. Are you really? Right. Um, but only if I really want to know certain information. Like if somebody has hurt Bobby, I'll find ways. Right. If you get.